In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at how to go about sketching a horizontal parabola and then also um, labeling the vertex, the focus, and the directrix. Um, and over here in blue on the uh, left hand side here, I have summarized everything that you're going to have to have memorized to be able to help you do this. All right, if we've got a horizontal parabola, then we know we have a vertical directrix. All right, and that formula is going to be given to us as x equals 1 over 4p y squared. All right, <clears throat> we know that if our p is greater than zero, our parabola will open to the right. We know that if our p is less than zero, it's going to open to the left. Our focus will be at p zero. Our directrix will be at x equals negative p. And our axis of symmetry then is going to be at the x-axis. All right, and we are assuming that we've not shifted away from the origin on this. Okay, so in this um, example, I'm going to sketch x equals negative one-eighth y squared. So I need to label my vertex and my focus and my directrix on my sketch after I get all this done. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to locate P because everything is centered around my P. Okay so in our formula over here x equals 1 over 4 P y squared. All right this 1 over 4 P is equal to the negative 1 eighth. All right so hopefully um, if you're trying to identify your P, you can real easily just rewrite right there. I can rewrite as X equals, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull that negative down in the bottom. I know I have to have a 4 out there. Okay, so 4 goes into 8 um, two times, and I need it to be negative, so then let's go negative 2, all right, Y squared. All right, if I rewrite that negative 1 eighth as 1 over 4 times negative 2, all right, then I can see that my P is a negative 2. Alright, that's going to be crucial in like everything that we do. Alright, so with P being negative 2, when P is less than 0, it opens to the left. So I know my parabola will open to the left. Okay, let's go ahead and write our focus down. Our focus is going to be negative 2, 0, because all I have to do is replace P. I know my directrix is going to be x equals a negative p. Well, a negative, negative 2 there is going to give us a positive 2. So x equals 2. All right, and um, I am not shifted away from the origin here, so my axis of symmetry will be the x-axis. That's going to make my vertex then at 0, 0. OK, so let's come over here and do a little rough sketch. All right, so I know my directrix is at x equals 2. We'll go ahead and put that on there. All right, I know my vertex is at 0, 0. All right, and um, I know my focus is at negative 2, 0. We'll go ahead and put that on there. And then I said it opens left. All right, so if I'm doing a rough sketch, not actually plotting real points on here, then I could just do something as simple as that right there, making sure I go through that point at zero, zero. All right, so rough sketch. Um, if you needed to actually graph it, um, you could make an XY table and create points there and then graph it a tad bit more accurately than I did on this one. All right, but just a real quick summary on your horizontal parabolas, all right, with all of the information that you need to um, memorize to help you identify all the different parts like the focus and the directrix and the vertex. Um, definitely thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks.